Good afternoon on this beautiful Minnesota spring day. I hope this weekly e-news finds you well. There are a series of things coming to mind for this coming week and hopefully will culminate in a sermon for you. Here are some of my musings for this week. First of all, this Sunday is Mother's Day. It is a celebration and a remembering of those who are our mothers and those who are mothering to us. And we also know that this day is a mixed bag for many of us for a variety of reasons. And so as we head into those days leading up to Mother's Day and even the day of and the days following, I ask that you be gentle with yourselves in this day as we do that work of honoring and remembering Mother's Day comes, though, out of our history way back to 1870 by a woman by the name of Julia Ward Howe. She was an abolitionist. Her work is best known for the hymn, The Battle Hymn of the Republic. But in her work, she wanted to eradicate war. And so she established Mother's Peace Day as a way to remember the many um, women at that time who were sending their sons and their husbands off to war that you know what if there was no war they wouldn't have to be doing that so she um, scheduled and actually um, planned many festivities in the Boston area for years to promote peace in a time that was filled with a great deal of unrest I'm thinking about our current day then recognizing that history how war is still prevalent today, how there is um, unrest, not only in our country, but beyond, but also thinking about upcoming legislation, not necessarily in our state, but in the states surrounding us and across the nation, about women's health and reproductive choice, and how that legislation will have a deep impact on the lives of many women and those who identify as women across our country. I'm also mindful for this coming Sunday and beyond that Jesus is coming to us in the Gospel of John chapter 17 as a part of his farewell discourse saying goodbye to his disciples that in this particular chapter Jesus says that we may all be one that in the midst of everything that you're experiencing, that the disciples are going to experience after Jesus dies, that in the midst of all of that, that we should remain one and how that call is for us today. So how this all culminates together, that we may all be one, that we fight for our women's health and reproductive choice, and how we are mindful of peace, how that all loops together on one day but it's more than one day. But for this Sunday, we're gonna talk about it. So my friends, I hope that you are doing well, that you're able to enjoy some of this beautiful sunshine, and that in the midst of this season, we take time to pause and to remember those who have mothered us, and for those of us we hold near and dear. May God's light love be with you on this day and in the days ahead, and I look forward to seeing you real soon.